Hey guys, it's Rob. I just wanted to make a quick video showing some of the aerodynamic benefits you get from uh, having reverse motor rotation. If your quad spends a lot of time flying uh, fast forward, if you're just hovering and, and doing aerobatics in the one position, it really doesn't make a lot of difference. But for something like uh, an FPV racing machine, um, they travel forward, they do hard yaw. There are definite advantages uh, aerodynamically to reversing the, uh, the propeller rotation. So let me just talk about those. But just firstly, let's have a little bit of uh, a talk about propeller theory. And uh, what you'll notice in um, any propeller when it's just hovering in, in still air is that the lift is being developed evenly right across the span of the propeller. So, so the effective center of thrust is coming straight up the middle just like that. You know, it's, it's directly up and uh, there's no imbalance of lift. But um, as a propeller starts to move through the air in a forward direction and rotating, what you'll find is that the relative air velocity on the forward moving blade is higher than it is on the retreating blade. We call it the retreating blade. And what that results in is an imbalance in the amount of lift being generated by the propeller. So the advancing blade, as it's flying forward through the air, the advancing blade is generating more lift, the retreating blade generating less lift. So what happens is there's an actual shift in the position of the center of thrust on this propeller. So it's actually being biased towards the advancing blade. Okay, now just remember that uh, concept because that's uh, quite relevant to, to why we um, have an advantage with reverse motor rotations in the quadcopter. Okay, this is just a uh, 400 size quad and obviously I don't fly with that battery but I've just put the big battery on for the purpose of the demonstration. In this discussion, what we're going to talk about is fast forward speeds and tight right hand yaw like that, okay, this being the front of the machine. So this, this quadcopter actually has reverse rotation, but let's just get back to some of the, um, the concepts of center of thrust shifting with apparent airspeed. Assume firstly that we have normal rotation, okay, with normal rotation, we're going to have a propeller like that on the front right hand side. It's going to be rotating inwards towards the front. So the advancing blade is outboard of the motor. Okay. Similarly on the other side, it's rotating this way, the advancing blade is outboard of the motor. So when that center of thrust moves on the front propellers, it's moving outwards like that. Okay. And since um, you're getting a, a greater moment arm, a greater distance, those front motors are going to be quite effective. Okay. Looking at the rear propellers, if we're talking about conventional rotation, the right rear one is spinning like that. The advancing blade is on the inside of the motor, inboard, and the retreating one is on the outside. So what that means is the center of thrust on that propeller is moving inwards. And similarly on the other side, it's moving inwards as well. So, so the relative thrust moves outwards on the front propellers and inwards on the rear. It's only a very small amount, but um, can be quite significant as, as we'll talk about in a minute. The other thing to consider is that when you are flying fast forward, your quadcopter is probably in that sort of attitude the front propellers are flying in very clean air all the time. You know, even when you're doing tight yaw, the, the airflow that is approaching them is relatively clean and undisturbed. However, um, the propeller wash from the front propellers affects the air flowing over the top. So what the rear propellers are receiving is a very different airflow, okay? It's being pulled down, and so the angle of attack on the whole propeller in the rear is, uh, is very different, resulting in a slight reduction in efficiency of the rear propellers. So think about this scenario. We've got better efficiency on the front propellers, cleaner air, center of thrust is moving outwards, more, uh, more control response. The rear propellers have um, less efficient airflow over the top and the center of thrust is moving inwards. So there are two penalties really um, that reduce the effectiveness of the rear motors. Now let's take that one step further and consider what happens when we yaw the aircraft. We want to put it into a very hard right hand yaw like that. Which motors speed up? With conventional rotation, conventional rotation, when we want to yaw right, this motor, front right and rear left motors will increase RPM. Okay? Conversely, the front left and the rear right will decrease RPM. So in a hard right yaw with conventional rotation, the inner rear motor is reducing RPM. Okay, so let's have a think about what's happening there. As you're going around the yaw, your airflow is not 
coming from the front of the quadcopter anymore. It's coming in from a more oblique angle like that. So if you've got one of these FPV frames with a, with a high profile, that's resulting in a lot of disturbed airflow um, on this right, or sorry, on the rear inside prop, the one that's on the inside of the turn. So we have three penalties now. We've got disturbed airflow, we've got center of thrust moving inwards with the, uh, with the conventional rotation, and we've got less efficient airflow from the front propellers, combined with the fact that that motor is now reducing in RPM through the turn. So it's just losing a lot of efficiency. The most uh, effective blade um, for producing thrust in the forward direction is the inside blade, and that's the one that's going to be experiencing the most turbulent airflow. So these uh, are all the factors that are working against us. And you notice in a lot of videos that when uh, people are doing hard yaw, in a turn at high speed, when they come out, you get a little bit of wobble, and some of that can be related to this propeller operating in very dirty airflow, reduced RPM, and possibly even experiencing a slight blade stall, which the, the flight controller is going to have to try and compensate for that. Okay, let's now look at the case for reverse rotation. And this quad has reverse rotation, as I said. So let's go back to the, um, the scenario of just straightforward flight. Front motors are spinning this way. The center of thrust is actually moving slightly inwards, okay? However, these propellers are always in clean air, so they're operating at the most efficient. The rear propellers are now spinning this way. The center of thrust is moving outwards. The outer blade is uh, developing the most lift. So what, what's happening there is those motors are becoming more effective, which to a degree compensates for the fact that the rear propellers are no longer, or they're not flying in the same clean air as being experienced by the front propellers. So there's an advantage straight away. The next advantage is coming back to our hard yaw situation like that, okay? Remember, with conventional rotation, the inside rear prop reduces RPM. Well, when you have reverse rotation, this inside rear prop is now one of the motors that increases RPM. It's, it's this one and the front left one that will increase RPM to produce that right yaw. So we've got a lot of benefits happening here. Firstly, the most effective blade is further away from the airflow disturbance, so you're going to have less reduction of efficiency due to the turbulence. Secondly, the fact that the RPM is increasing is making the propeller overall more effective and better able to resist blade stall when it's operating in turbulent air. The, the faster the propeller is rotating, the lower the apparent angle of attack you're going to get on that blade, which means there's less chance of a blade stall, so it's going to be more efficient. So uh, yeah, really, in any quadcopter that spends a lot of its time flying fast forward, there's definite aerodynamic benefits from reversing the propellers. Thanks for watching.